Welcome to another video of Ibritix. I really appreciate you that you are uh, constantly viewing my uh, videos and you're supporting me. Um, we have already reached 100 uh, subscribers. Now we are over 100 and uh, it was so fast. Actually, we got uh, from 100 and over so fast. I really appreciate every one of you that you're supporting me you're um you're you're subscribing you are liking the content and also i'm doing the, my best to make the content even better which each time now um i would love to talk about the interactions between the visuals in the report so sometimes you you, you definitely have seen that uh, um by filtering one visual, you're filtering all other visions. Sometimes you want to avoid them because you want one visual to represent the total um, despite the selection of any visual and on the on the dashboard, right? There is a way to do that. And now I'm going to show you that way. It's easy, by the way. Don't panic. And it's so easy. So just Go to the part where I'm going to show you that and it's going to take you from you not more than two minutes uh, to understand the topic and to apply the topic. So see you over there and um, I will try to get you in the topic now. So here we are. Now the topic is how to make this field here, the total sales, to stay constant. I don't want this selection of bikes to change the total because I already have here the selection of the bikes and I don't want to change this. I want this to be the total sales as remain as it is, whatever I'm going to select, I'm going to be selecting here, right? Clothing, um, I don't care about the clothing, what, what, what they had done because I already, I already have here, by the way, it's not what I wanted to get like 2.12 uh, million it's not what the what I have here why do I have one two point uh, it's because order quantity and uh, anyways so the way how we can do there that um, is to go to the format right to go to edit interactions and uh, in the edit interactions I want to click on on one of them for example for example this one right because those one this one um, is eligible to filter in the context others right if I'm gonna filter this it's gonna automatically filter this one but it's not vice versa I cannot click on that and filter or something because there's nothing to filter this one either um, I can click on this, for example, click on the sales amount. It's going to, uh, or total sales, uh, it's going to affect on the, on the uh, total view, total what we have here. So what we are going to do now, let me click on somewhere else because I don't want to select anything here. So um, I'm going to block this one. You see, it's the filter is activated. If we are gonna click on this one, we are deactivating the filter. For example, this one, I'm clicking on this one and then we are deactivating it. I'm clicking on this one and we are deactivating it. Now, once we have deactivated, we still have the um, the format here. It's edit, edit interactions are, are on. We are making it off, right? Now, when we are clicking on that, we are, we are filtering everything here a part of this this point here you can do the same with all others too it's enough to go here and it click it edit interactions and then uh, choose the interaction that you want to change here as I promised um, it didn't take three minutes um, so it's so easy straightforward and that's my um that that that's my promise that was my promise and i i kept my promise thank you very much
don't forget to subscribe and share this video so you're gonna show um you're gonna show me 